Exile. This is Star Trek Enterprise Season 3, the dreaded Season 3, although I really did like this one a lot. It felt a bit more like regular <clears throat> Star Trek. We're going to talk about it, of course, using my space system story, pacing, artistry, characters, enjoyment in each category. It gets a score between 0 and 2. 2 is the best that you can get in any category. I'm giving the storyline a 1.5. <clears throat> so, Again, we're with the Zindi War here, which, I mean, for me, it's a bit tedious. They should have ended, like, they should have just ended it in, like, a couple of episodes. But they're trying to figure out where where the weapon is going to be built, where the Zindi are, all this kind of stuff. Come across this guy who has this telepathic ability. He's reached out to Hoshi. She's got a, a very unique mind. She can learn languages quickly. She's very smart. Um, he's reached out to her, and he's looking for a companion, and he'd like her to be the companion. In exchange, he's going to give... Uh, the Enterprise crew a bunch of information about the Zindi that they didn't know about. Um, now, Hoshi doesn't know this at the time. She thinks, oh, I'm going to spend a few days with this guy learning from him. He's going to learn from me. In the meantime, we'll get all this information. Turns out he really wants her to stay for her forever. Um, I liked this one. It felt a bit more like a classic Star Trek episode where there's a guy who's got all these powers and he's messing with one of the crew. Typically, that would have been Kirk or, or Spock or somebody, uh, or maybe McCoy. But um, I like this one. Um, I like Hoshi a lot. I think she's great. Um, she's smart. Uh, I think she's really nice. She's like a she's like a nice person. So I, you kind of kind of feel for her a little bit more. Um, and I like this one exploring her her character, uh, her childhood, and like her her likes and dislikes. And he makes a little pizza for her. He makes her like a hamburger and stuff. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, overall, I mean, again, it, this one is a simple story. I'm not giving it a two because it's not blowing your mind or anything, but I really did enjoy it. So I have to give it a 1.5 pacing. I'm also going to give it a 1.5, which seems odd because there's not really a lot of action going on. Now, in between the scenes with Hoshi, you've got Trip and, and Archer landing on one of those, those, those huge like orbs that's like projecting all of this crap that's making the expanse hard to navigate. So there's a bunch of these things. There's like 50, I think they said, all over the place, and they're creating all these anomalies. So, so they're all crossing over. All like it's like so one orb is like shooting th this kind of stuff out. So where the one orb's rays interact with another, that spot in space is just completely messed up. And there's like 50 of them. So you have to got to think it's like it's just like a globe of them. So the expanse, that's why the expanse is so hard to navigate. Pretty cool. And they land on one of them. The pod goes kind of crazy. That was awesome too. So they intercut it with some pretty good stuff. So I think the pacing was really good on this one. 1 1.5 uh, for the pacing. I thought it was exciting and I liked exploring Hoshi's character. Artistry. Two out of two. Um, everything's looking really good here. I don't know if the budget's gone up, uh, but I feel like uh, when they're on the on that orb, that was pretty cool. I like the guys. I like the alien guy's look a lot. I think he looked awesome. His uniform, his suit looked really cool. His area was fun. It looked really neat. Um, yeah, everything looks really good. Again, I'm watching this on Blu-ray, surround sound for uh, 4K TV. It's not 4K, but it's Blu-ray. Um, yeah, music's good. They did jazz up the theme, which I mentioned last time, and I don't like the jazzed up theme. I like the normal theme, but everything looks really cool, um, especially like. You know when when they're discovering something new anytime there's a new alien you're like oh who's this guy gonna you know what's this guy gonna look like or um sometimes i think the costumes are even are even uh, like even better than the makeup like you're just like wow the, the costume on this guy looks great um and he can morph and stuff sort of stuff like that that's cool but um yeah everything looks good in the art department um characters i'm giving this a two out of two because firstly i love hoshi she's great i love exploring her her character I love this exiled alien guy. He's awesome. In the end, he comes through. He's not a bastard. He does try to trick her, which is cool. He tries to trick her into staying, but he messes up. Um, I do, um, and he does redeem himself by giving the information at the end. I think he's pretty awesome. I'd love to see him come back. Um, I, I'm wondering why he couldn't have just gone with them, or was there something? I can't remember if he was just like literally stuck there. Um, but I liked him. I, I thought that there was a lot of like pathos to him and, and all. It, it was good. He's good. And all the other crew are great. So yeah, two out of two, um, enjoyment factor. I'm giving it a 1.5. I liked this one. Um, this is probably one of the better ones for me of season three. Uh, it's still part of the war stuff, but like it did matter because they did get information. So unlike a couple of episodes where they just had them just to have them, this one still felt like a Star Trek kind of episode, but also furthered the plot because they did get information from the guy at the very end. So it did matter that this episode uh, happened. Um, so overall, 8.5 out of 10. This is one of the higher ranking ones so far that I've reviewed. Um, 
yeah, I like this one. So if you like my space system, please hit the like button uh, and consider subscribing to the channel and check out the playlist for Enterprise. So that's it. Until next time.